right then folks let's start with an announcement i've mentioned it a few times after this video we'll never mention it again the shirts the 10 shirts will not be on sale beyond midnight tonight when you're watching this so if you're watching this in the future don't tweet me they're gone so that again limited run uh there's a few left you can get them if you want them and then they're gone forever i am putting pressure on you but there has to be a cutoff point and today is the cutoff point so we can get them all printed and, and sent out to everybody the longer we extend the deadline i wanted to do it to the end of the series but the longer we extend the deadline the longer it goes on for people that ordered it sort of day one so that's why uh let's go with the video so you know if you get a shirt tweet me it i want to see a picture i want to make a collage i've still got all the thames fc ones i'm going to put it in my new house it's going to be good all right then folks welcome back then to another video with me not spend you can see i hope finds you very very well as you can tell we're very close to full fitness there's still a little bit of a but apart from that we're good what's not so good is the defeat to bournemouth and the draw to everton our premier league form has hit a bump in the road after our 2-1 defeat to madrid and a 1-0 defeat to city you can see there form started pretty good actually the derby bristol city Le leicester city all beaten 2-0 the 8-0 winning at shakhtar again a real positive so you'd think after that run of four games that we're winning against bournemouth would have been obvious no defeat one nil uh two two draw with roma the, the, the champions league though has been completed we have so we've completed it we've already won it we are the holders of course we go through to the next round of the champions league in which the draw has found us against marseille so not too bad at all really especially when you consider some of the prem games we've got around then um and then a quarter final penalty kick win against manchester city uh we should win the carabao cup you look at the teams left in it it's ours for the taking, right? Have we won the Carabao Cup before? I can't actually remember. Let me, let me just, I think we won it once. Yeah, we're, oh, we're the holders of that as well, viewers. So we're trying to hold on to some trophies. Have we won it? Literally won it last year. It wasn't the priority when you were in the Champions League. Uh, so Newcastle and Liverpool today. Let's take a look at the league table though before we go any further. You can see Chelsea are beginning to run away with it. So we've got to win both games. Two tough games as well. It's two sides that are top half opposition. It's not going to be easy but hopefully we can get the job done i mean because we this is our last season we need the league table to look thames branded all right there we go then jones will be in golf this one acacio in at right back we've got a few injuries all over the place really a bow struggling gill elmer pintado so we're gonna have to rotate a little bit braziz furiol and elielso at the back um for the first time forever really pintado's been injured for a, for a little bit of an extended period actually so we've had to bring in some reinforcements and gasm and reyes in the center I, I like to mix them around but we'll go, we'll go back to what we're, we're used to with them uh Malon comes in of course for a bow Roundrup, ishmael agonovic all doing what we expect them to do and let's get into this game then newcastle united away from home at st james's park it's a long walk up the steps for my fans but hopefully they'll look forward to it you can see the kit in the background there look that's isn't that nice anyway here we go then uh team wise for them i don't know any of the players so we're moving on we're literally 24 years or something in the future. I, it'd be, see, that's incorrect. They've got the fans out in the corner. Unless, of course, this isn't St. James's Park, as Christopher, or, uh, Christopher Ayer is, is manager for them. There are some fantastic managers. We'll do sort of a, a, a Thames review at some point. A few people want to do five years in the future as well. Um, a stadium's coming. I know I'm sort of not making a lot of that, but the stadium information was or to be decided so there's like we don't know anything really so we're hoping for some news at some stage of course it's not going to matter to us anymore but if i can leave the legacy of an actual new ground a big stadium then that'd be nice but yeah it's going to be a long time coming if we're to get there as a few chances early on as we've now got a corner uh peter randrup short to eddie elsa they've got a lot of space there newcastle it's too much space, boys. And Gassam, it's a brilliant finish. But, I mean, if you're going to give us that much time as a Premier League side, as the Champions League holders, you, you kind of going to have to expect that, boys. It's 1-0 Thames, and uh, that was all a bit easy. The XG is the same, by the way. 0.04 on that goal. I think it should be a little bit higher. It's still not particularly high, is it? I mean, here we go, then. As uh, a throw-in into the feet of Malon. Back to Eddie Elso. Forward to Agonovic as the ball put back to Ishmael. Oh my word, it sort of whipped and hit the post. It looked like it was going well wide until the very last second and it nearly went in. Um, a decent effort for us. Again, our XG went below Newcastle's. That goal from Ingassum wasn't supposed to happen, it turns out, as uh, Adams on this side now causing problems. Of course, it's not really about the other team so much. It's whether we beat ourselves in a lot of these games. The ball played in goes just over Jones. He had it covered. Chelsea scored after one minute against Everton so and Everton having a poor season as well so I'm not expecting too many favours at Goodison Park 
but so far so good it's a, it's a yellow card to Kenny Gillespie, who I can only imagine is related to Keith Gillespie, as Malon now in a dangerous position has a has a free kick. Sorry, oh, what a free kick it was! His third goal of the season doesn't really get a look in these days when you consider how good a bow is. But proving that when called upon, he still has a part to play in this side, and he could be crucial towards the back end of the season. Of course, the games are going to come thick and fast. But what a free kick that is! I hope if we see a lot more of that, then that's again fine with me. As things stand, then five points the gap between ourselves. And and Chelsea there's a battle going on right now and we are very much in it Newcastle charging forward with Mazzoleni and it's a brilliant finish he just drifts through the center of our midfield and our defense for that matter and uh, and converts it's, it's Newcastle one Thames two they've got a goal back in this the pass infield not good and then he just drives through and slots it home I mean defensively there it's not great from us is it that's, that's probably our area of weakness center back and that was evident there of course, big game against Liverpool after this. They're playing Manchester United at the moment, so hopefully they'll be tired at half-time. Uh, we weren't that bad, boys. You know, I believe you can still improve. I've got faith in you and all that. That's that's the classic, isn't it? That's the classic. I hope the team talks are slightly different next year. They're, they're so formulaic. I don't know what football manager do. Of course, FM22, not too far away. I just think there needs to be more variety. The fact I feel like I could do that team talk every time and it works and I get a good reaction like makes all of the others redundant and that to me is a bit of a problem oh a lovely move by newcastle they're in again they should probably score i mean he's missed it it was really well worked though really intricate passing half an hour to go i want i want to encourage but you can't possibly encourage so i'll praise them despite the fact they're not playing very well knowing that they will have a more positive impact on the game as it goes on an everton goal everton do you want to late late in the, in the game you're holding chelsea to one nil it's getting close as we've got a, another highlight hopefully it's going to be in our favor lovely little back heel just don't give don't give it away do not let them break that's the key thing here as reyes picks it up lifted to the back post it's headed away well, head, i think it's headed away punched away by the goalkeeper the, the attack's not finished yet ismail it's a it's an okay save it's a corner it should have been three though I should probably make changes, but when the, when the game is so finely poised, this is why I don't make changes. The game is so finely poised at 2-2. Uh, sorry, 2-1. I don't really want to affect anything that's going to impact us negatively. There I go, making a double change. I mean, it's almost it's almost fate now that Newcastle will equalise. If we score a third, then I should have been making changes for the last six years and haven't been, really. The time ticks away, then. We're going to waste a little bit of time. We're going we're to do all the things you would do if you were defending a lead, I think. Go to a little bit more cautious. Don't take me into any risks. And, well, what do you know? We see it out. 2-1 winners away from home. It's... Should be routine, but so again, some of our games recently, again, dropping points to Everton, who, who we keep talking about, and obviously the fault uh, against, the fault against, <laughs> like it was a, like we had to do a second serve against Bournemouth. Again, not ideal either. Uh, elsewhere then, Chelsea do get their win at Everton. <sighs> Five points to the gap. Our goal difference is solid. Of course, we still have to play them. There's a long time left to go in this season, but a big game up next for us against a very late goal scored by Liverpool. They've just, they just beat Man United. And now we play them. It's around that Christmas period. Happy Christmas to you. Well, happy nice Sunday lunch um, or Christmas dinner. It's not, it doesn't have to be Sunday, does it? When it's Christmas dinner, you can you can have it any time, any day. It's, it's weird having it on a Tuesday though, especially if you've had Sunday lunch. Very confusing. Anyway, the point I'm making is because we play Liverpool. They're in form. Merry Christmas. All right, then, game number two. And we welcome back Abo and Gill into the side, which has meant something I've wanted to do. I say wanted to do, talked about doing for a long time. Acacio is going to come in at centre back he's disgustingly good and it's very strange that we don't use him more probably at center back or at full back but he's just the best backup in world football i think a few mental uh like, like deficiencies but generally pretty good like again you maybe want his off the ball to be better in attacking what am i talking about composure maybe better that's about it uh really really good so he's gonna come in at center back i've, I've, I've absolutely picked him up to make a mistake that's just great Jones, Gill, Acacio, Baziz. Uh, Baziz, just missing the eye out there. Baziz, uh, Adiel So will be at left back, of course. Reyes and Gassam, Abo, Ran, Tripaganovic, Ishmael. Here we go, Liverpool. We've got to win. Because we've dropped points against sides that we definitely should be beating, it puts a lot more pressure on these matches. And that's that's a scary thing. I've put a lot of pressure on myself now. If we, if we, don't, if we don't win the Premier League, it will have been two 45 years combined journeys with sides I've created that we haven't won the Premier League. And me saying that out loud for the first time, I don't know if you can tell viewers, it's the first time I've thought that ever. <laughs> and now, now we better win this game against Liverpool. I've dropped points to Bournemouth and Everton this season. That is terrifying. 
All right, Liverpool have got a throw in. Not a very good one at that. And a Bose header finds Ishmael, who finds Agonovic. And now we've got to try and work it out as Ishmael. It's a great run after the initial bit of work from him. His run trips to what? He's been challenged. And Ishmael's gone forward. It's a lovely goal for Liverpool. It's got to be a bit frustrating that you make a tackle there and we just run, run onto it and then end up scoring. Yeah, not great defending. Still, though, Thames 1, Liverpool 0. We'll take it. Great work from Ishmael there, by the way, to come deep, to be involved, and then to be the runner, getting into dangerous positions as Chelsea take a 1-0 lead at Sheffield United. And we, I can just see it already, can't you? That's going to be the story of our season. What are Chelsea up to? And are they going to drop points at some stage? Of course, you expect them to drop off at some stage as Ishmael that's a man not dropping off 25 goals this season we're only just moving into the second part of the year of course January just around the corner transfer wise one of the comments on the video on Tuesday was um, just spend all the money Ben knowing full well I've got about 1.6 million so uh, we'll try and we'll try and spend it I'll I might try and bring back someone sentimental I don't know who that's going to be yet but I don't know, maybe below, maybe get below back. I mean, David David Howey is, is he's, he's not existed for 10 years. So it won't be him as we're forward again here. If you're Liverpool, you are terrified at this stage, I think. Half an hour gone, 2-0 up. We're looking very good. That head of clear. And maybe, well, this is going to be for Liverpool's first opportunity to break forward. But no, defensively brilliant. And now a bow finds Randrup. And the option on that left-hand side seems obvious. Agonovic goes forward. He's got to do better there. Goodness me. All right, so far, how can you not praise them? Brilliant performance from the boys. The forward line looking on fire. Ishmael on for the hat-trick. Liverpool, non-existent. Playing my old Championship Manager 0102 system. You love that. I used to play the 4-3-1-2, and then you just have arrows up on the fullbacks, up on the midfielders, just everywhere. Because that's how arrows... Basically, I want them to go forward. I'll draw an arrow. That's how it used to work. It's the header clear for Liverpool. Again, not particularly good. Brzee's... He was not... But like, Brzee's isn't like a world-class defender, but he plays for a world-class team, it feels like. It's that from Rails, by the way. It was not particularly good. Ball cleared by Liverpool again. And their options going forward seem so limited. Randrup, if his first touch is good, which it is, could cause a problem. Lots of Liverpool players in the way, but Randrup goes for goal. And that was the, I realised how wide that was. If it's hitting there on the advertising boards, we've got a problem. Uh, still 2-0 that again. Again, still really confident that we're going to get the job done here. As that ball forward wasn't particularly good. And now Liverpool... Uh, the goalkeeper clears it forward. Acacio heads it down. Reyes is on it. And he's just got, I think, the threat that we pose all the time. Ishmael in for the hat-trick. He's got to finish it off and doesn't. I don't know how he doesn't. We're so good on balance as well. Like You'd think we'd have to be more attacking to get a performance like this, but it's just not the case. We can play risk-reward football and do so comfortably and, of course, move it into different ways of playing depending on what's happening in the game as Liverpool again breaking forward they leave this man isolated all the time with this man if they lose the ball in these situations they are in so much trouble but again that's a brilliant ball forward and jones she had nothing to do all game turns out it's offside but still makes a really good save a highlight's actually going to come from the offside and Gassum bursts past his midfield card up a counterpart as Randrup now on that side if he can get the ball into the center there's a few guys lurking couple on the edge as Randrup's tackled by the man on the yellow card he's going to be all right though as Liverpool again looking to break but this is where we're quite dangerous when the ball forward oh never mind forget what I said viewers as Christiansen is in and well it's a good effort actually but wide go on then boys let's see what we can do ball forward it's cleared away I mean I'm not sure what we're doing really Acacio is on it as uh, he's making his way forward, trundling forward, Gill across to Ngassam, played forward again, Ishmael knocks it down, it's clear to Eddie Elso on this side, and you've got to think, a goal's coming right, viewers, it feels that way, about 40 minutes left to go in this game, and a third goal now, we'd probably seal it, as there's Peter Randrup at the back post, it's so easy for him, it's 10-3 it's Liverpool nil. considering how tightly... Tightly, tell me where with Liverpool going for a title a couple of seasons ago, saying tight, tightly and title in the same sentence was difficult for me there. Considering how close it was, now they've lost that midfielder to, to Real Madrid, and we just feel we just okay. The phrase I'm going to use for you is we hit different, we're just too good. A bow on it, brilliant work from him and the ball forward. Ishmael, is this the chance of the hat trick as he just slides it in so comfortably? A bow gets the hat trick. Ishmael, of course, now bought and our player really performing again this season. This is, this is exactly what we wanted from him. And it's 4-0 with half an hour to go. Well, they've got a man free at the front post who scored. I'm stunned, viewers. I'm stunned. If you're, an, if you're an offensive team against me, just play for set pieces and hope that this man is occasionally left completely unmarked by players who are marking nothing. It's great. 
I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm completely calm. I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally fine with yours. And I'm 4-1 up and I'm fuming about it. So, you know, bring on FM22. Let's see if, that, if that's not a thing anymore. I just think players should have a little bit more intelligence to them. That if they see a man at the front post unmarked, someone not marking anybody should just go and mark him. It's, again, seems obvious for us as they've scored again. Lucas Spooner at the double. There's not long left to go. If I don't win this game, viewers, the series ends today. So it's really up to them, isn't it? We'll waste a bit of time. I mean, the clean sheet's gone. I've, I've, I've done the waste time and then cancelled it, viewers. There's four minutes left and another highlight. I don't like this at all, viewers. Okay, they're on the ball. What is happening here? Augusto, shot from there. If that flies in, we're done. Liverpool have come alive in the last 10 minutes of the game, which, I mean, if we keep passing them the ball, it'll be easier for them. Not like this, please. I don't think that's 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 not got in. I mean, I don't know what the keeper's doing. I've got no idea. Somehow out of all that's a goal kick as well. I mean, is it offside? Is it a goal kick? No one's really sure. We've been a very calm game, very stressful late on. As a case, your heads back down to Jones. As that's gonna be pretty much time then, gang. And we continue to chase Chelsea despite their dominance. This is better than last episode. Last episode was two defeats and Two defeats that shouldn't... I guess neither of them had to be defeats. I kind of went for it in one of them and threw it away, which is... You know, I'm prone to do that occasionally. But in this one, it would have been composed, calm from the off. Yeah, they've scored a couple of goals, but they've never really been in it. And a really dominant performance for the AFC Thames boys. As there we are then, Thames 2. Thames 2, Thames 4. Liverpool 2, as the XG tells the story. All right, then we have the January period coming up. So the transfer window, but of course... Our, our manoeuvring in that window is going to be pretty routine. So let's take a look at when we're going to come back to this series tomorrow and uh, continue our journey towards the end of time. Uh, we play a double header against Watford, EFL Cup semi final, as well as just playing them in the league. But oh, do me, that's Chelsea. We come back for Chelsea. I'll get through January then. Tomorrow, Chelsea will be the game and maybe even a first leg against Marseille before maybe then Manchester City and Marseille. It's all coming together, viewers. And I'll see you for it then. If you enjoyed today's video, do leave a like on it again. Shirts are on sale. They are gone tonight, midnight. So if you're watching this after midnight, I'm so sorry. We love with care. Then for me, it's been just tonight's time. I'll see you again very, very soon. Uh, see you soon. If you bought a shirt, thank you so much. And again, if you want a discount on FM, there's a code in the description to that as well. Um, I'm just, we're just, we're just doing stuff.